Bana, 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 Nothing is hidden under the sun. Okuna gawa wam, anya na gawa wam na fukwa. There is a wage for every sinner. Okwa me bo kwa wuna. The wages are set. Jai omenja wepa ke wana ve. For the sin that men do, must surely live with them. Oh, one me, but one wanna. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one ye me bana. Oh, ye me febun sanina. Oh, men don't ambos you wanna be a wanna. It's fun and metal and utility. I will put no joy. Nothing is hidden under the sun. Who won a gawa? Anya na gawa? Na fukwa? There is a wage for every sinner. Who won me? Who won one? The wages are set. What is this? You don't look okay. It has happened again. What happened? This. This. What are you doing with the meat? Same question I've been asking myself. I, I steal what I don't need. I steal what I don't need, Jen. Something is wrong with you. I know. I know because there is this voice that, that keeps telling me to steal, steal and steal. And if I don't steal, that won't be okay. Anytime that voice comes, I must steal anything around me just, just to be fine. Jane. Ada, do you know that you can actually resist this voice and avoid stealing? No, I can't. If I can, I would have done that. This strange voice comes with hypnotizing power that I can't I cannot please help me please I don't know what you believe in but what you are experiencing right now is a spiritual problem I know I know please do you have do you know anybody who can help me out please this is not me something is wrong with me I don't know of any but I will try and figure it out. Please, my friend, please. That means we will see later in the day. Yes, we will see, but in the meantime, <laughs> let me keep this. Please, do not tell anybody about it. I should, I won't. Ye ye madune cheginga bu bu kame chara we bu bu ekele re mo chine me ma ho ni yolo ma oluru mo ye madune cheginga bu I have been thinking. Thinking about what, Mama? Maybe you should go back to JT since the king did not marry you again. God forbid! Mama! You put up on Keku called that Proginonu. I will never do that. Never! Hang on. Do you now hate him that much? Mama, I do not hate him. 
but I don't want to have anything to do with him ever again. Hey! Then what you're displaying now is the true definition of hatred. And it will take you nowhere. Mama, I want to wrong you. No, honestly, I don't understand you. And what I still do not understand is why you have refused to understand me. That is because you have made it difficult for me to understand you. Mm. How? Mm. How now? Let me tell you. I don't have time for this argument. Go back to what you were doing before I called you. Mama, I will not go back to JT. Please. Ha! Mama, please, I won't do that. Can you imagine? Just say that. Troubles you, my darling sister. I just discovered something in this palace. What is that? Things are beginning to miss. Things like what? Money, jewelries. Other items. You know, I didn't want to raise alarm before, but ah, it's beginning to happen continuously. You know, same thing happened to me. Yes. 500,000 naira money I had set aside um, to purchase a few things for the factory disappeared. I have been wondering myself what happened. And you kept quiet about it. Oh, well, it was strange. I mean, something like this has never happened in the palace before. I, I was still processing it. <sighs> and who do you think is responsible for all this? I don't know, you know. I mean, we have lived with these guards and maidens in the palace for so long and nothing like this has ever happened. This is strange. Maybe you should ask Adugo. No, come on. Why? Don't do that. Why? Oh, she will feel embarrassed. Mm -hmm. She won't like it. I will catch whoever this thief is. And he or she will be embarrassed. Andy, I have always believed your report. But I find it very difficult to believe this one. Are you sure? I have no reasons to lie against her, my princess. She has been the one stealing from everyone in this palace. Do you have any proof? Yes, my princess. What is your proof? She always confides in one of the maidens each time she goes there. She confides in one of the maidens? Yes, my princess. Why? From what I discovered, she said she doesn't do it um, intentionally. She said each time a stronger force speaks directly to her hair, she, nothing can stop her from stealing.
Andy, are you sure you are not making this up? No, my princess. You're sure? Very certain, my princess. And who is the maiden she always confides in? Jane, my princess. You may go. My princess, please help me talk to the king. I am not a thief. I swear, I'm not a thief. I'm not. But you just confessed you'd be stealing from us. Yes, I did. Ever since I came into this palace, there is this all that, 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 that always pushed me to steal. <laughs> <laughs> then, young lady, you have a spiritual problem. And I would advise you seek for help. But what you just committed is an abomination. Stealing in this kingdom is a taboo. Hello. Hello, please. I am ready for any punishment. I am ready to be punished. Yes, I'm ready. The king has already passed his judgment. He says you should leave the palace. Please, help me talk to the king to give me another punishment. Please, you should just throw me out of the palace. Please, I beg the you. The king of Isoyenato has passed his judgment. And his word is final. No amount of tears from you, Adugo, will change his mind. So just do what he said. Leave the palace. <laughs> I don't want to. Please, <laughs> Andy. Your Majesty. Take her out. Get up. 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 Get it's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the God. It's young and I thought, I never see no put on you. Don't draw a patago bottle. Oh, I don't never see no. It's young and I thought, I don't know. I don't The heart of men is full of greed and wickedness, always plotting for evil. Hey. But the sin that men do must surely live with them. How are you? Good afternoon, Good afternoon my dear. How are you? I'm fine. So, yeah. um, any news from the palace? Yes, it's you. Oh, I'm all ears. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Adugo has just been disgraced out of the palace. Why? News has it that she has been stealing from the king and the princess. Oh. Uh, uh, that means. He is going to need a new woman. Is that not what you have always wanted? But the question is, who is the new woman? Have you heard the latest? Did anything happen? The king has chased Adugu out of the palace. What? Why? They just discovered that she is a thief. That's not possible. How can that decent girl be a thief? One thing you must not do is to vouch for anyone. Everything is possible. But how on earth will she resort to stealing 
when the king can virtually get her everything she needs. Same question I keep asking myself. You now see why it is dangerous to vouch for someone. But Chege, where did you get this news from? Very good. I saw Andy pushing her out of the palace. And when I asked what happened, he told me everything. Hey! Wonder shall never end. But she looks so decent for that kind of life. Yeah. She just rubbished her reputation. Not only in the palace, but in the entire kingdom. <sighs> well, it is good this was discovered on time. Exactly. If not, the king would have married her and she would steal and put it on our head. Exactly. News also has it that she stole those items the princess was asking us of that day. What? Yes. She can you keep quiet? That's true. Hey. Ghost of Isuina talking to me. She resort to petty stealing of all things. I guess we should be happy that such abysmal behavior was discovered on time. I'm disturbed. Very disturbed. We should be thinking about the next line of action. To be honest with you, um, I'm devastated. I don't know what to do. I can't think of anything as I sit here. So you're just going to sit back and give room for the elders to attempt a coup on this royal family? What do you want me to do? Have I not done my best? Have I not tried to find a befitting queen for this land? And now I am running out of time. How much time do I have left to find the queen? Before the allotted time given to me by the elders expires. When the one that I found turned out to be a thief. What do you want me to do? Well... This is where I come in as the princess of this kingdom. I have a young maiden in line. She is beautiful and um, of good behavior. And I'm sure you will like her. Hmm. How well do you know this person? I've known her since childhood. And I can beat my chest that she is a good girl. Where is she from? Of course she's from this kingdom. Come on, brother. You don't think I'll be stupid enough to bring someone who is not from this kingdom? She's a daughter of the soil. What family? The O'Connor's family of Ititi kingdom. Bring her in. Thank you very much, brother, for trusting me on this one. And I give you my word, you will like her and she will not disappoint you. I hope so. I'm sure. <sighs> um, I beg to take my leave now, brother. Can you please stand down and tell me what happened? <laughs> I, I go to the palace and 
and I became directly opposite myself. How do you mean? <laughs> How do you mean? I turned into something else in the palace. I turned into something. Either your words are in pieces. Can you please pull them together and make me to understand exactly what you mean? Please. Joyce, I became a petty thief. I was stealing. I was stealing in the palace. I was stealing. I was stealing. I still don't understand. What do you mean? There is this voice. They were speaking into my ears, telling me to steal and steal and steal, steal, steal. And this voice comes with hypnotizing power that I cannot resist. And the time the voice is speaking to me, I, I would I just see myself stealing, stealing. The worst is that I was stealing what I don't even need. You see, I stole meat from the pot. I was stealing meat. You, Ada? You stole meat? Ada, this is not ordinary. <laughs> When did this start happening? When? After the first night in the palace. After I spent the first night in the palace, I changed. I changed. I changed. That means there is an evil spirit in that palace. Yes. Thank God you left on time, my friend. Thank God you left on time. I didn't leave. I was disgraced. Maybe along the line, it may have requested for your life. What? Exactly what you heard. Exactly what you heard. Don't underestimate all these people that call themselves royalty. Because they bury their hands into so many evil. Just, just, to, just, to, just to be relevant. Ada, you know what happened to you? What happened to you is a blessing in disguise. It's not. It's a blessing in disguise. It should be happy, not this one you're doing, Ada. Go and thank God. Go to the church and thank God. Joyce, I was disgraced. I was disgraced out of the palace. I was disgraced. You're stealing me. Oh, I've never stolen in my life. You I know, know me. you. I, that, I know you. It's okay. I've never stolen it's in okay. my life. You sounded so happy over the phone. And you even drove in here with excitement. Why are you not talking to me now? I am going to keep it very short and simple. Angolika, royalty beckons on you. How do you mean? The girl my brother brought in is a thief. And we have sent her out of the palace. My princess, I don't understand what you mean. I mean, how is that even possible? I am telling you a story that happened in the palace. But the most important aspect of this story is that my brother has requested that I bring you in right away. What? Me? I told him about you. I told him how you are a good girl and how you will be a perfect wife for him. So he said I should bring you right away. My princess, are you kidding? I'm not. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Someone should please wake me up from this dream. My princess. My dearest friend, if it's not a dream, it is real. So go in there. Freshen up, put on something nice, so we can go. Oh, my princess, my princess, this is nice now, eh? It's nice. Angolika, go inside, freshen up, and look nice. 
For there is something a lady can always do to shoot out the beauty in her. So go inside and do the lady's magic. Quick, I'm coming. Right now, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming back. I'm so happy. Angry. Ma. Why are you so excited? What's the good news? <laughs> Mama, the princess said that the king asked her to bring me. For what? No, why? Mama, she told me that the girl he brought home is a thief. So the king chased her away and asked her to bring me. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That means you are back on track. You can say that again, Mama. In Kebu very soon, I will answer Mama Law. Law. You know, mm. I've been dreaming of that. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so when are you going to do the thing? Mama, she said now. Then what are you waiting for? I came to let you know now before I leave. I think you should start going now. Immediately, don't waste time. Mm. Or do you want to change into something better? Key where the no, the why? Mama, did you say change into something better? Eh, no. ha. Mama, that which makes me angolika has nothing to do with physical appearance. Obiakwa. Yes, the angolika that I am lives in me. Okay. All right. So you will. <laughs> Mama, form. I wish you best of luck. Thank oh. you. Eh, anya. <laughs> We are not going to miss it this time. Oh, I'm not going to cry also. Eh? That's one. Mm-hmm. Oh, me. Nelon. Hey, God. Is this how you work? So, finally, I'm still going to answer Nelon. Yes. What I demanded was a simple email from you showing me return on that investment since the month of January. And what about net profit? Uh, listen, tell the accountant that the next time we have a monthly performance review meeting, I would like for him to come in with his books. I'd like to see what he's doing. Okay, I understand that it's a fresh business, but we must be careful. That's fine. If I can get proper updates, I would appreciate it. Huh? Good. Okay then, I'll talk to you again soon. All right, thank you very much. Hello, Hansen. Long live your majesty, paramount ruler of Ethiopian Yenato Kingdom. May your days be long as you pioneer the affairs of the great kingdom of Ethiopian Yenato. Look at you, also grown and even more handsome. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like you've seen a ghost? Do I know who you are? Yes, you do. Nigerian University in Suka, Business Management Department. Were you in my class? Oh, no, but we were schoolmates. You were two classes ahead of me back then in school. Sit. Thank you, Your Majesty. What is your name? Obiagiri. Obiagiri. Sounds a bit familiar. Um, okay, you remember when you followed a girl from your department to the school gate when you were in 300 level? 
Yeah. Uh, vaguely, I remember that incident, but I cannot tell you that I, I remember the face of the girl in question. Oh, well. You see lots of faces, so you just may not remember. And the girl. So what brings you? Oh, I heard you have become king, so I came to pay my obeisance to you. Quite thoughtful of you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, would you like something? Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes, something light will do. Good. Guards! I went to see someone. You went to see someone. See, Erima, you have formed the habit of leaving this palace without telling anyone. It was an emergency. Um, who, who is that lady seated at the main living room? I don't know her. Who is she looking for? The king, of course. Or do we have any other male child in this family? Many ladies are skimming their way into the heart of the king. Maybe I should try my luck as well. <laughs> you didn't just say that, did you? I did. Then you must be dreaming. You're a joker. What makes you think the king will go for you for any reason? You never can tell. Stop dreaming and wake up to reality. Okay? Look at me, Jane. Look at me. Don't I have what it takes to be the next queen of Ifyoyenato Kingdom? Okay, <laughs> let's say you have what it takes to be the next queen of this kingdom. Erima, what makes you think that the king would descend so low as to have something to do with a palace maid? I mean, how is he going to tell the story? Jane, I see you have written yourself off. <laughs> but you see me, Erima. I will never write myself off. <laughs> hey, Erima, you put yourself in trouble one day. Erima, the king. Erima, the king. <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. You are dreaming well, my darling. I'm all set. Let's go. Is this the best of your clothes? What you were wearing before was actually better. Hi. You see why I never wanted to change? Eh? So you don't like this one? Angoli, I was hoping you would wear something better than what you had on. But... You know what? It's okay. Let's go. Does it mean the king will not accept me like this? I did not say so. But first impression matters a lot. Hmm? Anyway, not to worry. We'll find a way around it, okay? Let's go. We're late. Interesting. <laughs> you went that far. Oh, well, <laughs> it was the only option I had. It was a smart move. Yes, it was a smart move. <laughs> you think I did the right thing? Oh, well, I think you did the right thing, yes. I cannot condemn 
uh, your action. Uh, a few people might, but uh, I think you did the right thing. <laughs> well, you are the only man who has told me that I did the right thing. Others condemned my actions. They condemn because they are myopic. They don't know any better. Eh? It's okay. So, um, what do you do for business? I'm into, <clears throat> I'm into distribution of red oil. Red oil. Please explain. I transport red oil from state to state within Nigeria. Mm. Business must be good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh yes, your majesty. Business is good. Anything oil attracts money. Be it red oil, granite oil, crude oil. Oil is money. Are you thinking of expanding? Like going international? I have the vision to do that, but the issue is uh, finance. <laughs> Don't worry about the finance. Uh, the finance will come. Just keep grinding. Hmm? I believe so. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Oh well, I think I should be on my way now. Thank you for your time. Uh? Thank you. Anytime you want me around, just let me know and I'll be here. Thank you. Please leave your number with the guard on your way out. Your wish is my command, Your Majesty. <laughs> leave long. I want us to talk before we leave. Okay, I'm listening. Angoli, a bright future is staring at you in the face. And I want you to grab it with both of your hands. My princess, I have never disappointed you before. When we get to the palace and you get before the king, I want you to carry yourself in high esteem. Do not behave as one who has never crossed the borders of his unionato. And package your speech and response to his questions in a delightful way. My princess, this one will be hard though. Eh? You know, I, do, I, I don't pretend. Angoli, I am not asking you to pretend. I am only asking you to behave like a modern woman. That's it. Modern woman? Yes. <laughs> so, how do modern women behave? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Obviously, there is a lot to learn. Anyway, what I am trying to say is that when we get to the palace, carry yourself with courage and dignity. Do you understand? Can Don't you do worry. that? Yes, I will be at my best. You will be very proud of me. This is exactly what I want to hear. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now let's go. Okay. She is beautiful and smart. The kind of lady I want. Without being told, one can easily see that she has all the qualities of a queen. Her coming here in a time such as this is an indication that she is the woman for me and I am not going to hesitate to make her my wife. I will search no further for I think that she is the one.
Greetings, Your Majesty. What is it? The lady asked me to give you this. Thank you. May your name be glorious, Your Majesty. Things are beginning to come together beautifully. <laughs> Things are beginning to look good. It's a foolish so, man that it thinks he's it went very well. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Tell me how it is. Hey! So. Eche, all I can say is that I have him exactly the way I want it. Good. Uh, so, he has agreed to marry you then? He hasn't said that with his mouth, but from the look of things, he has no choice. If he has not said it with his mouth, then uh, we don't have to rejoice yet. It chairs you, no, no, no. Do not bother yourself so much. Mm. From his body language, it won't be long before he will say it with his mouth. Uh, are you sure about this? I am 101% sure. Uh, well, in that case, I have no choice but to believe you. Hmm? And that means we are on the right track. I mean, we are on the path to success. Yes, we are. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> then, then, let me call my friends so that uh, we'll go for the oath taking. <laughs> the, the, uh, yes. Greetings, brother. Thank you. You're smiling. What is going on? Um, the girl is here. What girl? The good girl I told you about. My friend, the one I want you to marry. Already? There is no time to waste. I want everything done as soon as possible. Hmm. <laughs> That's how you Thank you. 
what we have just done shall serve as an oath binding all of us together as far as this matter is concerned. Whoever shall go back or renege or sabotage this project shall die a shameful death. Are we agreed on this? See, we, we all agree. We agree. We all, we all, all agree. agree. <clears throat> Brother, this is Anulika, my friend, the one I told you about. Oh, Anulika, sit down. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> you were going to say something? I said this is Angoli, my friend, the one I talked to you about. That's her? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, you know what, let me leave the two of you to get acquainted. Uh, no, 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 no. Sit. Um, I just um, remembered that there is something I need to quickly tidy up. Get the guards to offer her something um, to sleep on. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh. You know. But but the second floor to come with me. There's something I need to show you. Okay. Right behind me. Understand. Who? Who's that you brought into the palace? My friend, the one we talked about. No, that cannot be the person we talked about. You brought, brought a hobo into the house, that's what you've done. You, you brought a homeless woman into the house. Who is that? Brother, you are talking about my friend and I will not have you talk about her in that manner. I am actually shocked that you keep people like that as friends. Your royalty, what are you doing with that kind of girl? Did you see her skin? Did you see what she was wearing to you? Did you, did you? did you see her feet? We talk about finding me a wife and you bring that into the palace. Why? And that makes me wonder if you want to marry the physical appearance of a woman or a woman, a good woman who will be a true queen to you. Anya Mototo, it is the combination of everything. Physical appearance is important. Alright, because at some point I need to have erection to have sex with her. Class is important because she has to travel the world with me. So what exactly is your point? My point is that you have to tell her to get up and leave. She does not fit into what we're looking for. Brother, this is a good girl. She is well trained from a good home. And I'm a good girl. Whoever I take as a wife must represent me and represent me well. Next time you go in search of a wife for a king, you look at me. Before you find me a woman, look at what she brought into the palace. All right, my king. The 
Bagheli. When are we hearing from you again? Very soon, Che. Very soon? Very soon. Okay. So, we are listening. Eh? We want to... Mm, let's hear from you and then we know how to... Eh? It's not a problem. Yes, yeah. that is it. Greetings, Obwefi Irudike. Greetings, my daughter. It's okay. Yeah? Uh -huh. I will see you. Yeah? That man is not good for us at all. Once we take over, we find a way to remove him from the land. Exactly. I've been thinking along that line. Yeah? Um, as soon as we take over, we'll send him on exile. In fact, we'll find a way to put him completely out of circulation. Yeah? Then we will uh, perfect whatever we have exactly. in this kingdom. Don't no, worry about that. Do you know it's because of that man that we have not taken over? You see? And we have to do everything possible to put him where he belongs. And yes. we have to do it fast. Plans are already in the pipeline. Eh? Don't worry about him. Yeah, who is he? He is a man. 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 He is a my princess, I think you are beginning to give me falsehood. Why would you say a thing like that? My princess, didn't you see what just happened? From the look of things, your brother doesn't like me. Mm -hmm. Why would you say something like that? Come on. Forget about my brother's way of modernizing things. Listen. I am very optimistic that my brother likes you. As a matter of fact, he is going to marry you. My princess, I don't see that happening. I don't. Not like this. Did you see the way he looked at me? Princess, I, I have my doubts. Mm. Angoli, you may not believe this, but I will keep saying it. I have seen you seated by the side of my brother as his queen, ruling over our people. And by the will of the gods, my dream will come to pass. Good afternoon, Mama. Hello, it's Mama. Yes, Mama. How are you? Fine, thank you, Mama. Mama, it seems you're going out. Uh, with the way I am dressed, you should know I'm going out. <laughs> I'm going for a meeting. Okay, Mama. <laughs> um, what about my dear friend? Your dear friend, Angoreka, went out. I have to wait for her. Ah, will you stay here and wait for her? Yes, Mama. I'll ah. wait for her. We are going somewhere together. Ah, I hope all is well. Yes, Mama. Ah, I'm going to... Oh, come okay, eh? here. No matter what they are planning, I'll just be waiting for them to unleash you.
What kind of nonsense is this now? What kind of insult is this? Eh? Calm down. Talk to me, I'm your friend. What did she do this time? The princess is just toying with my emotions. Now tell me, is it wrong to love her brother? Is it? <laughs> Which of her brothers are you in love with? Mm. Is it your ma? The princess has just one brother. And we know that. You, wait a minute. You mean you're in love with the king? Yes. <laughs> you have big eyes. <laughs> you have big eyes. What is funny? Hey! Hey! What is funny? Mm. Listen, young woman. You and I know that the king is a modern man. And he is well traveled. He is so classic and experienced. And you and I know that he cannot, for any reason, descend to your level. You should know this and stop wounding yourself with expectations. Okay, so Ijoma, what exactly do you refer to as level? Now tell me, why are you even dismissing me as if I am nothing? Now tell me, eh? The fact that I chose naturality over fake life does not mean that I am classless. No! My dear friend, stop dreaming. Wake up and face the reality. Mm? Okay, you know what? Let's just change this topic. Sure. Why are you here? Okay, my friend. You know I love you so much. Not just a friend. I'm like a sister to you. And I want the best for you as my friend. I, I'm here to advise you to go back to JT. Yes, JT is the right man for you. He's the only man that can take care of you. JT is the only man that can honor, cherish, and love you. Ijoba, please, please, just stop it. Stop it! Nobody here who got that broken on. Eh? Any man who can cheat on his woman once will do so repeatedly. I will never go back to JT. Even if he's the only man on earth, read my lips. I will not go back to JT. Your Majesty, I uh, greet you. <laughs> you Rudike. You Rudike. Your Majesty. You Rudike. I greet you. I got the leg of my. Hey! It's a beautiful day. Oh, yes. <laughs> Your Majesty, uh? without being told, I can say that you're very happy today. How do you know? Your Majesty, have you forgotten that I know you like I know my wife? You see, I can easily tell when your majesty is happy. Oh, well, for you, Rudike. Hi. <laughs> Indeed, you're a man of the gods, eh? And on the acknowledgement yes. of the gods, I'll go straight to the point I am here. Let me hear you. Your majesty, when exactly are you bringing in another woman since the first one did not work? I am happy to tell you that that will happen very, very soon. Hmm. It is as if there is somebody already waiting that you want to introduce to oh, us. Oh, if you, Rudike. <laughs> oh, if you, Rudike. I see that a little bird has been whispering to you lately. If you can say that again. Uh, how did you know? Your Majesty, you see, it's been long I have been with you. Mm. And it is said that action speaks louder than words. Mm -hmm. The only thing that can make your majesty, as I know, happy the way you are is when there is a beautiful woman by your side. <laughs> so once again, when are you bringing her to meet with the Council of Elders? Mm. In a few days, Owefe. I can't wait. In a few days. I can't wait. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyamototo, a 
it is the combination of everything. Physical appearance is important. All right, because at some point I need to have erection to have sex with her. Class is important because she has to travel the world with me. My brother will never change. Let's see how this plays out. I am water. Brother. My darling sister. I know that you're angry, but calm down. I'm sorry. Huh? I am not angry. Yes, you are. I know you. You're angry about the way I talked about your friend, but please forgive me. Trust me, brother, I am not angry. You are the one intending to get married. The choice of who you want to marry belongs to you. I'm glad that you understand that. Brother, you should remember I am privileged to attend one of the best schools in this country. There are certain things I should know. Your intelligence has ever been in doubt. Huh? And speaking of intelligence, I am happy to tell you that I have just seen a young woman I might be getting married to. Oh. A maiden from this town. Brilliant. As long as she's of good behavior, I have no problem with that. I am positive that when you see her, you'll like her person. And I am happy you feel this way about her. Good luck. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Precious. What is it? You have a visitor, Your Majesty. Male or female? Female. Tell her to be seated and wait for me. I'll be with her shortly. As it pleases the king. Brother, I think you should go and attend to your visitor. Not until I am done with you. Brother, you always have me here. But your visitor, you don't. Go and attend to her. You see why I say that your intelligence has never been in doubt? I am what Huh? I'll see you soon. The king will be with you soon. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm not a thief. I'm not. Why are you here? I came to tell you that I am not a thief. You're not a thief. Mm. Yet you agreed to have stolen yeah. from me. We found some of the items that you stole from my sister on you. You call yourself innocent. I, I, I can explain. I can explain, Your Majesty. I am a man of justice, Adugo. I do not relate with thieves. I am not a thief. You are a broad deal light criminal. That's what you are. I'm not. I'm not still in my life. I took you in. 
loved you, gave you the best of me, promised to make you the queen of his own at all. And what do you do? You turn around and you steal from my family. You, you may just see, I don't know how to explain this. The same nonsense that you have been repeating. I am tired of your nonsense. I do go because of our belief. It's your majesty. I am not a thief. If you do not leave right now, I am going to have one of my guards throw you out in the most dehumanizing way. Please. Get up. Please. And get out. Please. It has not got into this extent. Please, your majesty. I am not a thief. God! <laughs> Please, it's not going to do this step. Please. Okay. I will, I will leave. Please. Please. I'm not stolen in my life. I'm not a thief. Did you get a very good look? Of that woman? Yes, Your Majesty. Let this be the last time she's allowed into the palace. She is a confirmed criminal. Thank you, Your Majesty. She's no longer allowed into this palace. Am I clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Oh. Our princess. So what do I owe this unannounced visit? Keep that pretentious smile of yours to yourself. My princess, you're sounding as though we're at war. Is anything the matter? Call it whatever you like, Uwefi Rudiki. But your plans will not work. My princess, can you bring me up to speed so that I will understand what exactly you're talking about? That my brother listens and takes advice from you does not mean you will control his life by telling him who to marry. Did your brother tell you that I suggested any for him? Allow him make his choice of a wife. That woman you are pressing his neck to marry might not be the right woman for him. On the sacredness of our journey, the mother earth. I am not part of the decision of your brother to marry the lady that he is intending to marry. I know nothing about it. I knew you were going to do this. I knew you were going to deny it. I knew you were going to try to confuse me with this Ajani bullshit. But Obwefi Rudike, I have my eyes on you. And I will make sure that you don't impose your preferred woman on my brother. Because before he became your king, first, he was my brother. My princess, it will interest you to know that who a man marries has never been of any interest to me. My only interest is to see our Isio Yenato kingdom can be moved forward. Anything other than that is of no interest to me. You are not a good liar. <laughs> Nothing is hidden on that. Joyce, Joyce, I am not a thief. I am not. Before God and man, I am not a thief. I have never stolen in my life before. You know it. I am okay with what I have. I, I can't even see myself stealing from someone. You know now, you know, I am not a thief. 
the king called me a thief and he ordered the guards to take me out of the palace. What? Yes. Is it that mean? JC, I, I, I saw a different man today. I didn't know he could be this mean. I didn't know he could be this mean. It is okay. Nothing is not your husband. Yes. I love him. JC, I love him. I love him. I... Loving him does not guarantee you being his wife, Ada. Come on. <laughs> he has everything I need in a man. He has everything I need in a man. But the fact still remains that I am not a thief. It's, a thief. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I know. Just, just give him some time. Let him be for now. Okay? I am not a thief. I can't. Just, I am not a thief. I am not a thief. I have never stolen in my life. I am not a thief. You have to I let him be. One of the ways to show love is to let go. If it comes back to you, you will know that it is meant to be. I'm not a thief. I am not a thief. I am not a thief. Try to say I am not a thief. Ada is okay. I am not a thief. It's okay. It's okay. I can't lose them. I can't lose them. Ada, you know. I can't lose them. I know. I Just calm down. Elders of my land, <laughs> I am very happy to present to you the beautiful maiden that I have decided to marry. Oh. <laughs> what a wonderful choice by the king. Hey! Uh, Your Majesty, you have made the right choice. Carry on. Your Majesty, you have eyes and you can see with them. Yes. <laughs> eh? You see, me looking at her. Eh? One does not need to be told that uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, she, uh, she has all the attributes of a queen. Your Majesty, with all due respect, I suggest that you don't search no further. She is your missing ribs. <laughs> uh, uh, but that is the plan, eh? <laughs> not to search further. Uh? Good. Uh, so, Your Majesty, uh, when are we going to do the need for Emmanuel? Well, very soon. Uh, very, very soon. Uh, uh, you are not saying anything. Or don't you have something to say? Your uh, Majesty, you don't need to say anything. The majority carry the vote. We're all together. He has to say something. Of... Uh, can I speak to you privately, Your Majesty? Hi. What is it? Your Majesty, there is something very important I need to discuss with you, and it's urgent too. Hi. My orders, please. Oblige me. Why did you have to allow him to live with the king? Whatever he is planning has been overtaken by events. <laughs> She's already our queen. The king must marry her. <laughs> Trust me. Oh my, we chase no more. Is it no more? The king of the birds. You cannot. And I would do the naka. Iche. Oh my. Is it no more? Oh my. You will not marry that lady, Your Majesty. Why? Everything about her is shrouded in secrecy. How do you mean? The people she associates with are the people I call enemies of the throne. Can you give me names? Your Majesty, this is not the time to mention names, but you just have to listen to me. You leave me no choice other than to disagree with no, you. No, Your Majesty, listen to me. I listen to you. I have always listened to you, but I think that you're beginning to take advantage of it. Far from it, Your Majesty. 
Now let me tell you something. That girl is a disaster waiting to happen. Listen to me, your majesty. I will not do so until you give me proof. Your majesty, marrying that girl would be the worst mistake you make in your life. Uh, let me make that mistake. Your majesty, you don't expect me to tell you lies. Believe me. Listen to me. This is my call to make. My mind is made up. I'm done with this discussion. Leave. Your Majesty, did you just ask me to leave? Did you just question my authority? As it pleases you, Your Majesty. Once again, welcome to the palace. Thank you, my princess. Are you ready to embrace royalty? I'm very ready, my princess. How long have you known my brother? It's been a while now. How come he has never mentioned your name to me? Oh well, that I don't know. I guess he's in a better position to answer that question. You're right. He's in a better position to answer that. So, what do you do for a living? I am into local oil distribution. Oh, really? That means you are a businesswoman. Yes, my princess. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like business, you know. I like to do business. And I hope someday we will do business together. Wow. That will be an honor, my princess. I'm ready to do business with you anytime. Sure. Sure. My pleasure, though. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, that, that would be all. I actually wanted to get to know you better. So you can return back to the main building. Thank you, my princess. It's an honor having spoken with you. The pleasure is Thank mine. You. Oh, finish up your drink. <laughs> Thank you, Alba. <laughs> Nothing is hidden under the sun. You requested to see me. Oh, yes, I did. So, what is the plan? I don't understand. You know exactly what I am talking about. And I expect you to answer me. I don't know what you're talking about. What is the scheme of pushing you into becoming the king's wife? Oh yes. What exactly do you intend to achieve when you finally get to the palace? Nobody is pushing me to be the king's wife. And I do not know where the word pushing is coming from. I am a man that consults Dibiafa. And I can tell you that even your continent betrays you right now. I do not consult Dibiafa. So you should not be holding this conversation with me. 
there is a hidden agenda and a secret plan with the elders that are pushing you into this. In your own interest, I am advising you to withdraw and leave, especially now that you still have the time. I still don't know what you are talking about. Go and ask about me. I am that deadly masquerade of Isio Yenato that has never lost any battle. Why are you telling me about battles of Wefi? I'm not into battles with anyone. I do not bite anyone until they position themselves well enough to be beaten. And anyone that allows himself or herself to be beaten by me experiences the worst form of bite. Now you are threatening me, Obofi. You are threatening me. It is not a threat. I am telling you what will happen. Deal with it now before the universe deals with you. There is a wage for every sinner. The wage is a sin. We're back in when of a for the sin that men do must surely live with them. Oh, one may be one one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one may be one. I do not feel comfortable talking about what I feel about her here. Speak. I want to hear it. There is something evil about her. She is shrouded in secrecy. Can you explain? She did not come into this palace with good intentions. There is more to her. Have you discussed this matter with Ogwefi, Iridike? I did not discuss this with anyone. Why then do both of you sound alike? Why are the two of you saying the same thing about this young girl? He is opposed of the girl? Yes. And what exactly did he say? Says the same thing that you have said that she's not good for me, something evil about her. Same thing that you have said. Well, he's right. There is something evil about that girl. Brother. You have to listen to me. That girl is not good for you. Well, until someone gives me enough reason with evidence proving that that girl is evil, I will not have this kind of discussion. Brother, you have to listen to me this time. I am your sister and I will never lead you astray. Of course, you can never lead me astray. I'm an adult, mature enough to make his own decisions. That means you're not going to listen to me on this particular issue. Never will I listen to you on this particular issue. Will that be all? Yes. Sound well over the phone. It's a problem, Ichi. 
What kind of problem? Obwefi Rudike is fully aware of all that we're planning. How do you mean? He called me to his house today to tell me about all we are planning and he has vowed that he's going to stop us. I always knew it would come to this. He is one person we should not take for granted. Obwefi really Rudike. So what do we do now? Don't worry. Eh? Let it not bother you. I have handled him before. I will handle him again. Eh? Oboe if you is no match for me. <laughs> Don't worry. Hmm? Ichi, hmm? if there's anything you intend on doing, please be fast with it. To be honest with you, I'm scared of that man. I told you not to worry about him. Listen, just do your thing and let me handle the rest. You understand? I have dealt with Obue Firidike before. I will deal with him again. I am Ichie Zenono. You are sure about that? Don't worry about him, okay? Relax. Okay, Ichie. Let me be on my way now. It's okay. Yeah? Obi, trust me, okay? Trust me. I am Ichie Zenono. <laughs> Why do you always interfere in matters that do not concern you? going to warn you again. Listen to me. That road which you intend to ply, that road you intend to walk is very slippery and dangerous. And if you take that road, you may not survive it. I am not afraid to ply any road. As long as humans and spirit ply it, I will go in there and come back alive. Nothing I want you to stay out of my way. I promise you that I will not stand in your way. Do not stand in my way. Maybe. Do not stand in my way. Maybe you should tell me what the plan is. Why should I tell you? It is none of your business. It is none of your business. Listen to me. I have an unfinished business with the royal family. And until I collect my pound of flesh, I will not give up. And I, and I will not rest. And I took an oath to protect the king and the royal family. I took that oath before the lady. That is exactly what I am doing. And there is nothing you or anybody can do about it. Oh, that means you are declaring war against me. Because protecting the royal family means declaring war against me. And I will make sure you go down for Hey, say, no, no. I am not scared of you. I am not afraid of you. It will interest you to know that the day a man like you was born, a greater man like me, Ah. In fact, let the war begin! Okay! The war has just begun. This war has just begun. And I promise you, you will be consumed. A man. You will be consumed. Oh, you lie. A man who will walk on the path of justice, on the path of righteousness, will always come out victorious according to my father. Oh! And that is exactly what I am doing. And that your father who told you that nonsense did not want you to stay away from other men's business? No, he did not want you to stay clear of other men's affairs? Oh! We shall see! We shall see nothing! We shall see! We shall see nothing! We shall see! You can't do nothing! Okay! Oh, nothing! We shall see! We shall see nothing! Hey, now. I mean, why are you staring at me? Because I just like the way you lick it. <laughs> Listen, if you want more, I can get some. No, this is enough. This is okay. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I'm just sure. I actually like the seed more. Mm. Mm -hmm. More than the flesh itself. Make sure you don't swallow the seed. Mm -mm. I will not make that mistake. Okay. So it doesn't grow on your head. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a myth. 
So, hmm. let me not start looking sherry and forget why I came to see you. Okay. <sighs> you know, um, in marketing, there is something they call rebranding and repackaging. Oh, what? my princess, me, I did not go to the university, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Angeli, I know. That is why I'm going to explain it to you, okay? Um, so, we are going to talk about repackaging. Let's leave rebranding for now. Hmm? So, repackaging of a product Mm -hmm. has to do with um, changing the physical appearance of a product to appear more attractive to the buyers. Okay, fine. Let me bring it down to a layman English. Repackaging of a product. Like, I want to repackage this. Hmm? I now change the physical appearance of this product so it will appear more attractive to you. Okay. That is what repackaging is. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. You know, you don't just repackage a product for it to appear attractive to the buyer. You also repackage a product so that more buyers will see it and it will attract them to buy the product. So in other words, you are repackaging the product to get more customers. Mm. Do you understand? Yes. Good. You're smart, you know. Mm. So, um, oftentimes I tell people that um, it's not just a product you can repackage. You can also repackage a human being. This is where, uh, uh, let me borrow the word, rebranding of a human being. So if you can repackage a product to get more buyers and for the product to have more sales, so can you also repackage a human being to attract more favor and also Hi. gain more friends? Hi. This is my princess. This is my princess. You're too intelligent. Emily, please, can you stop? You keep embarrassing me all the time. Simple facts. Look at now I can I understand everything you said just now. Forget the fact that you didn't go to school, Angoli. You're a very smart girl, and I always tell you this. Okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, my dear friend, I actually came here today mm. to tell you that I want to repackage you. Hmm? Uh, Your Majesty, um, were you able to think about what we discussed the last time? Which of them? I mean, the girl, of course, and what she truly represents. No, I did not. Why? I don't remember telling you that I was going to think about it. But I told you the girl is evil. And that her intentions towards you are not good at all. I told you. You are beginning to overstep your boundary. And I don't like it. Is it because I have allowed you in? that you have suddenly earned the right to decide for me. You, you, you are misunderstanding me, your majesty. That is... I have not misunderstood you, Eurydice. That is exactly what you're doing and I do not like it. Let me make it known. Henceforth, you are not allowed to further discuss the issue of that girl. Never again. It's okay, Your Majesty. Well understood. 
So when do you intend to to get married to her? In exactly two Kemaka days, that girl will be leaving with me here in the palace as my wife. Let the rest of the elders know. I will do that, Your Majesty. My princess, how am I going to be repackaged? Mm -hmm. You are not going to only change how you dress. You are also going to change how you speak, how you talk. Are you saying that I will start wearing expensive things? And who said you have to wear expensive things to look good? Fine. Um, you're not only going to wear expensive things like you said. You're also going to wear expensive wigs. Good perfumes, jewelries, cosmetics. In fact, I am changing everything about you. My princess, mm -hmm. expensive wig, good wig, perfume. Mm -hmm. My princess, I don't have that kind of money. And besides, I'm not too particular about looks. Really? Angoli, which one is the problem? Is it that you cannot afford it or you don't like to wear it? I can't afford it. <laughs> so if I get it for you now, you will wear? Yes, now I will wear. That brings me to the next phase of everything. Okay. I will get you everything you need for this repackaging I am talking about but on one condition <laughs> what condition my princess you must promise me you will wear use and do everything I ask you to do my princess just buy them eh? If I get you the expensive dresses like you said, the expensive things like you called it, you are going to wear it. I will wear them. So we have a deal. We have a deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bob. Listen, if we wait here a little longer and that girl doesn't show, Go just come off here. This place no they save at all. Right there, you see, you see me. I only like all these kind of girls. So well, call this girl, you know, Greek color. Nah, see, she don't do waste man time. Nah. Guy, there is no need of calling her. She needs this more than we do. Eh? We don't get all day now. Nah. Guy, give me lighter, babe. Give me lighter. I'm sorry, guys, for keeping you waiting. She can. So sorry about it. Come, share the wine, me, Abby. It isn't as so we work for you. Listen, this is not how we work in this place. Well understood. So we think that you come this anger. I have a task for you guys. Name it. There are some men I want you to take out. Give me their names. Iche is in Nunu. Or Akwe, Anunana. 1.5 million naira. 500,000 Naira each, which not waste blood for nothing. Because blood is an expensive commodity. We don't waste it just like that. I'll give you one million. Come. You know they negotiate for you. You know, come here, come negotiate. 1.5 million or nothing. Deal. <laughs> I like that. So when you hit the ground running? Once you pay us one million Naira, we'll get to work. Immediately you hear they are dead. The good news. You pay us our balance. You get your money over the weekend. Because I want you guys to get to work ASAP. See, once we are done with the business, you pay us our complete money. Sharply. Do you hear me, Abby? I heard that the princess and Nobuefi Rudike are not comfortable with the king's choice of wife. That will be a big problem. I don't think so. Because he's the king and he has every right to make his own choice. That is very correct. But in a situation where two most important people in his life are against his choice of wife, 
That spells danger. He's the king. I believe he will find a way. But why are they opposing the king's choice? Well, the princess, the sister, has someone in mind that she wants her brother, the king, to marry. Sometimes I wonder how you get all your informations. Chege, let's just say that I always place myself where I will be properly informed. I see. Now you so be. I hope you have not returned to tell me that I cannot marry a baby. Not at all, Your Majesty. You've taken a decision on that already, and I respect your decision. And so why have you returned? Your Majesty, I know that you have made your verifications. That will be the reason you are insisting that you will marry her. But then again, I just come to ask. I want to know exactly where you did this verification. If you did it outside this kingdom, I will insist you do another one with someone from this kingdom who is connected with the ancestors of this kingdom. What verification are we talking about here? Herodike, what exactly are we verifying? Your Majesty, I am not sure I heard you right. Do you mean to say that as the custodian of the affair of this great kingdom, you did not verify the spiritual inclination of the woman you want to make your wife? Your Majesty, this is not in line with the, 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 the tradition. You better retrace your step urgently, Your Majesty. Tradition is tradition, Irudike. I do not have a problem with the ritual process. Away from Irudike. Is this your ploy to stop me from marrying a beggarly? Not at all, Your Majesty. I am only guiding the king, and you know it. Your Majesty, can you please allow her go through this ritual so that she'll be qualified to be the queen? Tradition is tradition, Erudike. The ritual, she must perform. I do not have a problem with her going for the ritual. She will go through the process, if that's what you ask. That is it, Your Majesty. Thank you for obliging me this time. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh... I hope all is well. Yeah, sure. All is well. I know this is going to sound somehow. But whichever way, I want you to know that I mean no harm. Jetty, what are you up to? IJ. IJ. Please marry me. You are joking, right? No. For real, you're joking. And I, I want you to stop this joke. Just stop it. IJ, I am not joking. <laughs> Your friend said it is over between us. And since she cannot forgive me of what I did, let me move on with you. This is madness. And I want you to stop it this minute. Jesse, just stop this madness. This is not madness. From the way 
you have handled this misunderstanding between your friend and I, from the maturity you have brought to the table, IJ, I have fallen in love with you. And I want you to please marry me. JT, okay, okay. Assuming I accept your proposal, how do you think Anlika is going to feel about it? Anlika has rejected me already. And how she feels doesn't matter to me anymore. On the contrary, she will feel so much betrayed for me to accept to marry you. And she will come against me. And I do not want it. Even the universe will fight in your favor if she dare come against you. She asked me to forget about her and move on with my life. I have decided to move on with you. How is it a problem? Yes, I am not against you moving on. You can move on, Jesse, but not with me for crying out loud. What is it now? Because I respect Annika as a person and I respect our friendship. Excuse me. The more reason I must do everything possible to be with her. She's everything most ladies are not. My friend, my friend, you have to listen Jay to me. She is useless. Can you just calm down for once? Oh, really? Give me one reason I should calm down. Just because I said no to him, boom! He has come running to you, proposing that you marry him. Is that not insanity? That's because he desperately wants to get married. Eh? You don't have to blame him much. And that's why I said he is useless. And I don't want to have anything to do with him. Can you beat that? My friend, you once told me how much you love this guy. Oh, please, that was then, not now. You know what? You have to reconsider your stand on this. Please. My darling, my mind is made up. I cannot go back to TJ. And please, I don't want you to feel you are betraying me. If you want to marry him, fine. You can go ahead and marry him. What? Yes, you heard me. TJ can go to hell for all I care. Rubbish. TJ this, TJ that every time. TJ useless. <sighs> Stupid boy. Can't even take good care of himself. Rubbish. Nonsense. Okay, it's okay. Is Mama around? She went to the market. You know what? I want you to think about this. We'll talk about this later. I beg to take my leave. Calm down. Oh, it's okay. Put yourself together. It's not what you think. Calm down. I beg to take my leave. Bye bye. California and Ako. What is wrong with them? My mind is made up. I don't want TJ. Ogeneno. Leave me alone. TJ, this TJ, that. Ogeneno, what for you? The battle has just begun. Eche, hmm? what's the process all about? Well, it is an ancient tradition of our people. But it is optional. The king may decide. Not to allow you to pass through this process and still go ahead to marry you. That's it. Hmm? But in this instance, it seems his mind is made up. Yes, his mind is made up. And the boy Fierudike is behind it all. Iche, I ask again. What is this process all about? It is all about finding out if you are real or not. And um, having come this far with us, if you pass through that process, you will die. So did you just hit the rock? <laughs> Not at all. Not when I'm involved. Hmm? Ichi, I don't understand. I am Ichi Zenono. 
I will give you an antidote. You will pass through that process and nothing will happen. Hmm? Ichi, Ichi, but you just said that this is an ancient practice. Uh -huh. So all the charms you've gathered from far and near cannot do anything to ancient institutions and authorities. I told you before. I am Ichi Zenono. Listen. His father, the late king, could not even stand me in any way. Who is he? One bashi? A toddler? Eh? One, 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 Ah, come on. Listen. Hold on. I will tell you. I'm talking. I'm Ichi no, no. Eh? I will give you an antidote and you will pass through that process. Come out. And nothing. Absolutely nothing will happen. Absolutely nothing. Oh, man, it's a chase, no, no. Yeah? You know me? Hey, calm down. Calm down. It's a chase. Relax. Yeah? I am with you. In any way. I am behind you. I am in front of you. I am by your right hand. I am by your left hand. Nothing will happen to you. I am a chase, no, no. Trust me. Trust me. You will pass through that process and nothing will happen. Absolutely nothing. Yeah? Relax. <laughs> mm. How are you? I'm fine. You're looking so beautiful. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much. How is everyone? Fine, fine. Come and sit down. Come and um, sit down. It's not a sitting thing. I didn't come to sit, okay? I'm actually in a hurry. I actually came to give you this. Yeah. Hold it, hold it. Let me get the other one. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. My princess. I'm here. I came to give you this. I need you to start dressing like this, dressing good, because I want you to look exceptional henceforth. Okay? My princess, mm -hmm. all this for me. And more, because uh, the hairdresser will be coming soon. Your jewelries, cosmetics, and other things are coming. So just get ready. They will be arriving soon, okay? Hi! Oh, get better, friend. It gets wide. My princess. Can you just Thank Hey, this must have cost a whole lot. Come on, stop it. It's nothing. I mean, you're my friend. If I don't do this for you, who will I do it for? Hmm? Thank you, thank you, mm -hmm. thank you so, so much. You're welcome, my darling. You're welcome. Okay, um, I have to run along now, okay? So expect the hairdresser, like I said, your jewelry, cosmetics and other things, okay? And make sure you use them. Because I'll I monitor will. you. Ah. I need you to change your look, okay? I will. You can't be my friend and be dressed like this. My daughter, how are you? Mama, I'm fine. But, Mama, I was actually on my way to the market to see you. I hope all is well. All is not well, oh, Mama. What happened? But I don't know if here is conducive for us to have the discussion. It's just two of us that are here. You can talk to me. Mm. Eh? Mama. Mm. Talk now. Say Mama. Mm. Mama. Mm. JT proposed to me. How did it happen? Mama, that's not where the problem lies though. I, I actually talked to my friend and Lika to go and settle it with JT. But, Mama, I can't believe what she said to me. What did she say to you? She said I should go ahead and marry Jetty. That she can never have anything to do with Jetty in her life. Are you sure she said that to you? Yes, Mama. Mama, you know me too well. 
Eh? I don't have any reason to, to, to lie against my friend. If that is the case now, go ahead and marry him. What, Mama? Which one is what, Mama? Even you, Mama. What happened to me? Somebody said she is no longer interested in marrying JT. And the young man proposed to you. It's not your fault. Marry him. God and man will bear you witness that it's not your fault. I'm a witness to Marry JT. Jesse, have you heard? Heard what? That the king is getting married. It's not true. Ada, the news is everywhere in this kingdom. Yes. Oh not again, Ada. Not again. This goes a long way to tell you that the king is not for you. Yes. He's not meant for you. Maybe you are right, but at some point I was thinking that the king is for me. <sighs> Ada, you have every right to think that way. But the turn of the events has proven you wrong. Yes, you have to be strong. Please, please my friend, okay? Keep the way it is. Stop doing that. Okay. More than this, okay? What do you have inside? Please, well, <laughs> so who is he getting married to? I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't know. What do you have inside? Stop it, I don't like it. Leave me alone now. Mama, stop it! Look, Alice. You are making a mistake and I want you to have a return. Mama, I am not making any mistake. Yes! I don't expect you to see your mistakes because you are the one who is directly making the mistake. Oh, really? Eh? I am the one who is making the mistake now, Mama. Listen, Mama. If TJ is the only man on earth, eh, I will rather remain unmarried. Rubbish. Hey, Hanuri, I pray you don't regret this. We women have a way of dismissing the fact that real men are scarce just to satisfy our whims and caprices. But the fact remains that real men are very scarce and any woman who manages to find one should hold on to him. Mama, can you feel that? Eh? But check out Kubagi not TJ Nigu. Look at him. Very senseless. Classless. TJ had the mind to cheat on me. And you want me to marry him. Mama will not do that. I will not. Rapu Makabiko. Rapu I'm not Maka. holding you. I am not holding you. Hey, leave me alone. Rapu Mo. So bad. Marry TJ. TJ this, TJ that, TJ that. Eh? Women of old generation. They will always give young men the leverage to treat women like trash. To hell with DJ! It's DJ this, DJ that. Still, I am not convinced. How do you mean? There is something sinister about this lady that we cannot see. I feel so too. But if the water of her palate has given her the green light that she would become the queen of his Yonato kingdom. So, what next? Everything is in the hands of the king. As soon as he gives the go-ahead order, I will start the planning of the traditional marriage. Mm -hmm. 